Hello beautiful Virgos and welcome to the Ebony Tarot. Thank you all so much for all your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. I really do appreciate it. If any of you would like to book a personal, all information on how to do so is in the description box below. Also, my deck is out for pre-order. So if you'd like to pre-order, information is down below. So my beautiful Virgos, I'm so sorry for the delay. Um, The last reading I done with Leo, mm -mm. I just, I just thought you, you know, you will health and cleanliness. So I kind of wanted to cleanse my energy and um, do a reading for you when I kind of felt that the energy has shifted a little bit. Okay. So today we're going to be doing a general reading. We're going to be seeing what is coming towards you, family, lover, friend or foe. Please remember that the energies in the reading can go vice versa. So just take what resonates, switch the gender, switch towards you, what you've got to do, whatever you don't got to do is come at me in the comments. Okay. I just feel like my face looks really shiny and I just don't understand why it's really annoying me. So yeah, I'm just trying to, it's not sweat guys. I just, I don't know. <laughs> so the overall energy we have for you, my beautiful Virgos, is hair evolution. And at the bottom of the deck, we have let your hair show you the way. Okay, so, oh, gorgeous energy, okay. So um, for some of you, you're feeling really powerful or the um, you will be, okay. This is the energy that is coming towards you, okay. I'm hearing something about revolutionary vibes. So somebody may see you as very re revolutionary, okay. You may feel very inspired to kind of do something or to go after something or to, um, I feel like you're going to be feeling extremely ve brave if you have been feeling weak or, um, just kind of like lackluster, like not bothered about anything. I feel like your strength and your, um, vitality is going to be restored, okay, there also could be something that you really look up to, maybe something that you want to go towards, okay, I'm also hearing something about there's the power in your hair, so I'm hearing let your hair be wild, let your hair be free, okay, you could also be looking at, like, natural products, um, to kind of put, um, in your hair, the other day I, um, ran out of, um, I mean, my hair kind of looks a bit bushy right now, but I ran out of um, conditioner, so I used honey, and I can really say, I don't know if you can't really tell on the camera, but, I just used raw honey on my hair and it's like really, really, really um shiny and soft. Okay, so imagine if I actually put conditioner in it as well. My goodness. But anyway, so I feel like you could be um looking at holistic ways to kind of um heal or nourish your skin, your hair, your beauty. Okay. There also is somebody that you may be wanting to go into the direction towards, okay. Um, or like I said, there could be somebody that you kind of look up to or someone that's a role model or guide towards you, um, okay, and you kind of feel like this person makes you feel empowered and inspired, okay, but I feel like something very revolutionary is going to happen, um, so this could be you, maybe you're encouraging people or you're leading people, you could be like an act, act, I can never say that word, activist of some kind, <laughs> okay, Oh, there's something that you truly believe in. I also feel like a lot of people find you quite intimidating at this time as well. Sorry, I thought I saw something weird on the camera. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, that could be you. You could be feeling like you're seeing weird things as well. I'm like, is that my eyes or... Okay, sorry guys. I just felt like I saw something really strange, but we're just not going to get into that right now. Okay, but yeah, I'm hearing to look out for signs from the universe as well. Something to do with leaves or trees. For some of you, you could be think um, researching about marijuana, like um, cannabis. Maybe you're using hemp oil. Okay, or well, that's something that you want to incorporate. Okay, but yeah, very powerful, very strong. A Sagittarius could be very significant to you or a, a Capricorn, but it does not have to be. Okay, so I'm hearing something about um, taking agency over oneself or taking control. Okay, so let's see where this is going, my beautiful um, Virgos. Oh, no, I had the Virgo card. I was supposed to show you like that. Okay, so this is for my beautiful Virgos. Okay, so we have I am that. I mean, no, we don't, sorry. <laughs> we have meditation, and the mantra for this is I am that, okay? It reads silence, contemplation, prayer, reflection, introspection, and concentration. Yeah, okay, so I feel like you are um, your spirit guides... Um, are trying to get you to meditate or to um i'm hearing like to remain still and to re remain calm and to reflect because they're trying to give you some kind of downloads okay so i'm hearing in in silence is where you um is where you require a lot of knowledge okay or is, in silence is how you receive knowledge okay so yeah so just i, I i'm feeling like you need to um 
connect with nature itself. So, you know, if you don't want to go outside and walk in the grass, because, you know, you just never know what people be putting in on, on the ground these days, okay? Not everything is pure, okay? Maybe um, if you have plants in your home, you may actually want to just, like, put your hand in the soil of the plants and just actually just touch the nature, okay? But, yeah, I'm hearing something about meditation, okay? Meditation brings answers, okay? There's also something that you're discovering about your roots, so this could be about your roots within your hair or you, something you could be learning about your hair or your roots is in your connection to the divine, your ancestry, um, your heritage, your lineage, okay? But yeah, I feel like you're doing a lot of um, thinking. So yeah, this is your energy, um, Virgos. You know, you are the hermit. So you could be kind of, I don't want to say in isolation right now, but you could be keeping yourself to yourself, trying to kind of cleanse your environment, okay? I feel like there's something that you're really thinking about, Okay? Oh my goodness. So, what is coming towards my beautiful Virgos? Can we just have one card, please? Okay, yes. Interesting. Okay. Oh my God. These cards. So, we have Goddess of Herbal Healing, a jar. It reads Herbs, Healer, Medicine, Nature, Animals, Roots, and Plants. Did I not just say that? So, yeah. You're trying to get to the root of something or you're working with roots. You could be studying um, botany or is it botany? The um, study of plants, okay? Um, you may be dealing with, I want to say, is it a Gemini? Because they got similar energy. So you may want to check out that reading. I think it was called um, Egyptian Herbalist or something like that, okay? But yeah, some of you, you could be natural born healers as well. And you're going to be using your powers um, to help to heal people. There is somebody that you... Um, could be taking the lead or the direction from, um, like, maybe you're watching something and this person is saying, okay, well, you need to use this and you need to use that and you need to use that. And you're using their knowledge to kind of make your own concoction when it comes to something, okay? But I feel like some of you are natural healers or some of you definitely could be herbalists. You could be thinking about going on a vegan or vegetarian diet if you're not on that already. Or you could be thinking about incorporating more food and more um, natural um thing you could oh my goodness sorry guys you could be thinking about incorporating nature and natural things into your um your daily like regimen like as in like your skin your hair your nails your food so maybe you want to eat more life is basically what i'm trying to say i don't know why i'm stumbling on my words i feel like there's an energy doing that because i have found every time i try to read i can't get the words out Okay, so maybe maybe this is how you feel as well. Like when you're around people or you kind of just feel like there's a weird energy. So you're trying to keep yourself to yourself to try and figure out what is it that's around you that's making you... um. Because maybe some of you feel slightly disconnected from nature. So that's why you're trying to get to the root of something or to the bottom of something. But yeah, I'm hearing something about roots. So you could be collecting... um actual roots from plants okay maybe some of you are doing some kind of herbal ritual some healing ritual okay but i feel like whatever you're doing it's it's really powerful oh it's going to work okay okay yeah we got the angel of sadness or the angel of misfortune sorry and it says sorrow oh and then we've got the angel of the abundance at the bottom of the deck with wealth okay now for some of you there may be somebody who transitions and that might be the sorrow, but you're going to gain a lot of wealth from that situation. So some kind of inheritance. Now, for some of you, you could be really sad. Like I literally just said, there could be like an energy around you, like a dark energy. And you don't know what it is or you don't know why. So you're trying to heal yourself or maybe you're feeling depressed about something. Maybe you're trying to heal a situation with someone. Okay, maybe there's somebody that you're not speaking to and you're meditating, you're praying. Because we do have prayer at the back here. And you're trying to think out, how can I um reconnect with this person or how can i reconnect with oneself but like i said i feel like if you are going through anything i feel like the power the love the you're going to be um something is going to be restored okay maybe you just feel like you're going through a whole load of misfortune unfortunate events and you're like what's really going on okay this could be somebody else's energy as well maybe there's somebody around you that's um sad okay so let's just see where this is going. For my beautiful Virgos, please come find meditation. Yeah, we have emotion that wanted to come out with stillness. Yeah. So something really does require for you to be still. Or maybe you have been still 
and it's now time for you to take action when it comes to something yeah because it's saying follow the direction of your hair so it's like follow wait i'm hearing like listen to your heart follow your heart okay but yeah some of you could really be really emotional so you could be trying to calm yourself and relax yourself okay or maybe you kind of just feel more peaceful in silence okay or like i said you're really going deep and you're really thinking about how you can kind of heal something in your life or a situation maybe you don't want to be quiet anymore yeah we've got prayer that wanted to come out and then we've got trust that wanted to come out and at the bottom of the deck we've got attitude yeah so you could be this could also um this could be to do with literally changing your attitude changing the way that you think about something okay looking at the reflection of yourself okay but yeah we've got prayer here um on top of the um aja goddess of healing so i feel like you're really praying for something to be healed now this could be something physical maybe this is something to do with your health and you're looking for herbal remedies to heal yourself and i feel like your prayers are going to be answered okay or you could be praying for healing um with somebody or with a situation so i feel like the divine hears you okay maybe you're going to get some kind of confirmation that your prayers are being answered okay this could be also somebody praying for you Maybe you are the answer to someone's prayers. Okay, and then we've got trust with the angels of misfortune. Okay, number 33 is there. So yeah, your luck is definitely about to, about to change. You just need to trust in a situation. Maybe um, somebody broke your trust or your trust was broken or you feel like somebody doesn't trust you. So you're praying that they're going to... Um, you're just hoping that somebody kind of believes you in a situation or you're hoping that a trust can be rebuilt. Okay, so just take whatever story is yours. Okay, because I'm hearing a lot of different stories. Please clarify emotion. So we've got mystic, yeah. So some of you could definitely be natural mystics, okay? Or you're dealing with somebody that's very connected to the universe or you are very connected. Yeah, we've got reverence. So yeah, a lot of prayer and worship. So I feel like there's something that you really want. This could be something to do with money, okay or a person or something to do with your health so it's going to be different for different people okay like i said i do feel like there's a powerful mystic that you really look up to or this is you or like i said the divine is giving you download so it's it's you have to make sure that you are being still and really kind of decoding the information that you're intuitively getting okay Something will make sense to you. Tattoos are very significant. So someone may have tattoos. They may have tattoos of, of leopard print or a rose or flowers. Stars is very significant as well. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Okay. Someone has really pretty hair and really pretty eyes as well. This could be you. Yeah, we've got nurture, okay? So again, this is my pretty hair, pretty eyes card. So most definitely. Again, you could be looking at, like I said, herbal remedies to put into your hair. Okay, so you could literally be working with flowers, okay? But this does say nurture, so like, yeah, you want to nurture yourself, okay? Giving yourself life, putting earth into you or putting earth into a situation. I feel like for some of you, you view somebody as your universe or this is how somebody views you. Could be dealing with another earth sign, okay? But yeah, literally praying to the world for something to change or for something to blossom. You have a lot of creative ideas on your mind, okay? So you could be praying that something will work. Maybe for some of you, you're thinking about um, a herbalistic business or some. you want to sell some kind of herbal remedy that you're making, okay? Please clarify trust. And then we've got cosmic, yeah? So something very spiritual is going on here. And then we've got B at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, be you. So I'm hearing the nature of oneself. I feel like you want to be free from a situation, okay? Or you want to feel free or somebody makes you feel free, okay? But I'm hearing to just be you. Also, I'm hearing something about protective sign. You need to protect yourself or you need to protect your hair. You need to protect your mind. You need to protect your thoughts, okay? But you're very in tune with the galaxy and within the cosmos right now, okay? So look out for a lot of signs, symbols, and synchronicities. You may find that things in your life are very synchronistic. Also, if there is... Something that happened in your life, I feel like it's a spiritual lesson that you need to kind of learn from or grow from. But if you are sad or if you're experiencing any sorrow, something is going to change. Okay, you just need to trust in the process and have faith. Also, I'm hearing I want to be with you or you want to know if somebody wants to still wants you. 
in a situation but we do have the angel of abundance at the bottom of the deck and attitude so yeah i feel like you need to change your way of thinking when it comes to something okay yeah we've got the queen of cups so yeah i definitely feel like this is to do with lamp to do with lamps this is to do with love sorry the ace of lamps is at the bottom of the deck so the lamps represent spirituality so yeah i feel like you're going to get a new download a new and an and a new perspective when it comes to a situation to do with love, how you feel about love or the love of oneself or who you love. Some of you could have a telepathic connection with someone. And like I said, you want to know if this person still loves you. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. They do. Or you are loved. Okay, but yeah, somebody's very emotional here because this is in the role of emotion. So I feel like you may need to offer your love to someone or somebody wants to offer their love to you. But it's kind of like they're looking for a sign okay i feel like you're very spiritual and this is what somebody loves about you also so you can you can connect with someone in a spiritual way maybe this person teaches you a lot or you teach them a lot or vice versa you know um you you know you teach each other things oh my goodness we've got the stars that wanted to come out with um the nine of cups yeah literally you're wishing and you're praying for something so this could be somebody could be dealing with a pisces or an aquarius like i said but literally this is in the role of prayer or somebody is praying for you or you're praying for some kind of miracle okay now if this isn't like to do with like a person or love this could just be like um some kind of healing ritual or something there's definitely something to do with healing here i feel like there's something or there's somebody that you really want your dreams are definitely coming true okay you just need to believe in the power of the mind and the power of your intention but if you're praying for something it's coming if you're praying for somebody, I feel like they're praying for you as much as you're praying for them. Please clarify the angel of misfortune. And wow, yeah, the ten of cups. So a lot of love here, a lot of cups. We've got the queen of cups, the nine of cups, and the ten of cups. Okay, so this could definitely be something to do with your family. Or this could be um, just your emotional fulfillment. I feel like you really want to, to, to have a beautiful family with somebody. Or this is what you're... Because, you know, we've got the nine that goes to the ten of cups here, okay? So maybe there's been a lot of unfortunate events when it comes to your family um, or your love life, okay? I feel like you're missing somebody or somebody is missing you, but I feel like something is going to be restored, okay? There's going to be a shift and there's going to be a change. The cosmos hear you, okay? I'm hearing you are a special child of the divine also, but I feel like you make somebody emotionally happy. You are someone's emotional wish fulfillment or vice versa, so you will get what you want in a situation, okay and then we've got the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck okay so yeah grounding your energy i also feel like somebody thinks that you're like a natural beauty or you are or like i said you're trying to become more naturally um beautiful when it comes to a situation or you want to be more nurturing more loving more giving you want to be more emotional because you know you're 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 not really an emotional sign but that something has obviously got you in your emotions okay so please clarify the queen of cups Please clarify the Queen of Cups. This is for my beautiful Virgos. Yeah, so we have the Ace of Pentacles here, okay? So yeah, I'm hearing the gift, a gift from the universe. But again, something to do with yourself, okay? I also feel like you feel like somebody's your other half, like somebody mirrors you. I feel like you feel whole and complete with somebody. And this, this is why you're so emotional, okay? But I feel like you're looking at yourself, looking at the attitude that you have towards um, the way that you feel about things, Okay? I also feel like you're realizing that you are a gift or somebody is a gift or the gift or the answer is love. Okay. But yeah, you need, this is really like a lot of introspection. I feel like you're doing a lot of inner work or you need to. Okay. Yeah, because I feel like if you're thinking about somebody, they're also thinking about you. Yeah, we've got the Nine of Pentacles for your energy, but you know, she's in a block of ice here, okay? So I feel like you're, it's like almost like you want to approach something or somebody wants to approach you, but it's, something's real icy and real cold here. So like I said, this is in the role of nurture, so you need to kind of nurture a situation. You need to be more warm-hearted. Because I feel like your finances and everything is okay, but I feel like you're wishing for love. Or like I said, somebody's wishing for you. But we have two nines here, so 99 could be very significant. I feel like someone's wishing for you, Virgo. Someone's wishing to heal something with you. They, somebody wants to break the ice. Yeah, so they're thinking like, what can I do to break the ice? What can I say? What can I give? Please come find the Ten of Cups. And then we got the Five of Pentacles here, okay? So yeah, I'm hearing something about vulnerability. 
okay because you know she's got that cheddar you know sometimes we we refer to cheddar as you know money so i feel like when it comes to your money i feel like you're okay or maybe you're 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 um i feel like you're learning how to do a lot with a little okay or maybe you don't need i feel like you have everything but you don't you know you want love or you want to feel emotionally connected okay i feel like you want to bear it all because you know she's not got really she's not got anything on she's got this raggedy piece of cheese there covering herself but i, I just feel like it's like i'm hearing i want to break bread with you maybe you feel left out in the cold or yeah literally you kind of just feel cold without somebody or you know and it's like you're really praying for something or for someone or for something to be restored maybe your health to be restored okay i've got pins and needles oh my god my foot ah! <laughs> oh my goodness guys okay that really hurts oh sorry i'm just i don't know how i'm gonna get through this reading i need to like oh okay at the bottom of the deck we have the four of swords yeah so it's like you want peace of mind when it comes to the situation Okay, well, you want to make peace with someone. It's like almost like you're trying to get someone's attention or like I said, you're waiting for a sign. The number 20, 22 could be very significant. This could be somebody's age or someone's birthday. Okay, or you could be seeing 22 a lot. Okay, but you know, she's on like a racing track here and she's like, you know, got this sign up allowing you to know that it's time for you to go. So I feel like you need to take action. Or somebody wants to take action towards you. you could be doing with a Libra. A Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. We've got air and earth. No, we've got earth and and water here heavy. So any water sign, any earth sign, an Aquarius or a Libra is very, very significant, okay? But I'm hearing you just need to be yourself when it comes to a situation. Somebody likes you just the way you are, okay? Especially if you're natural. Somebody likes, likes when you're natural. They think that you're really beautiful, okay? But the angel of abundance is coming around, so just you know don't worry but like i said i feel like your money's fine i feel like your 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 stability is fine but i feel like there's you feel like there's something missing but you know you can reverse the energy maybe you're you've got a lot of love but but i don't think so or maybe somebody kind of makes you feel good like i feel like um you're just you're enough i just keep on hearing you're enough virgo you're enough just how you are somebody thinks that you're you know, maybe you kind of feel like with the misfortune that you don't have enough to give somebody or you don't have enough to offer someone. Or this is how somebody feels. But I'm, I'm hearing like, it's, you know, you're enough. Your love is enough. You don't have to do the most. Just be you, be yourself. You're very inspiring that way. Okay. So, so I'm just looking for my other decks. So let's just pull some additional information for you, my beautiful Virgos. Okay, that was too many cards. So we have, I am fun and exciting. So yeah, so I feel like you're going to be pleasantly surprised when it comes up for, to something. Your answers are definitely going to be, um, your prayers are definitely going to be answered when it comes to a situation, okay? We have, I am structured and organized. So yeah, you're trying to organize your thoughts, organize your life, okay? And then we have, I am strong and fearless, yeah. So I feel like you need to be strong and fearless when it comes to something. And we've got, I am talented at the bottom of the deck. So you're very talented, okay so maybe you feel like you don't have enough to offer when it comes to your skills or your talent if you're more than you have more than enough skills okay believe in yourself okay we have connect with your room okay so connect with your femininity that you could also be trying to do some womb healing okay we've got burning bowl ritual okay so maybe that's something that you need to do in order to maybe you have been doing that you've been manifesting and you've been praying Okay, and then we've got sweet treat. So bake yourself something sweet or bring sweetness into a situation or do something sweet for somebody. And we've got deep breathing. So yeah, take a deep breath, Virgo. It's going to be okay. Okay, there's no need for you to worry when it comes to a situation. Okay. So can we just have an additional message for my beautiful Virgos? The goddess hero okay it says let go of yesterday and move into a new cycle i embrace my new beginnings i embrace my new opportunities okay and at the bottom of the deck we have change is inevitable growth is an important part of life i awaken my soul and grow into the person i want to be yeah 
So I feel like you're going through some kind of spiritual transformation here. You know, it may be scary. You may be afraid to kind of, you know, go after what you want or say something or do something. But you need to do it. You're going to be blessed if you do. Okay. Or this is how somebody is, um, you know, viewing you. Okay. Well, I hope that helped. I hope it really made sense. Please do not hesitate to like, share, comment and subscribe. Toodles.